Hi everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro and Expert Division for the Supernova 9 Hole Cup. Before we get started please do hit thumbs up on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. We are tackling one of the trickier courses in the game. Full 9 holes of the Poor Fellow Cove. So preparation is the key on this one because there are some very tricky moments to negotiate. All 9 holes coming up with the replays and adjustments. In um, general wind conditions, we obviously don't know what we're going to get for the tournament as yet. But that will be obviously known once we start the tournament. I will be taking this week off, unfortunately, so there won't be any individual hole guides. But stay tuned on the channel because we do have a brand new BK Academy tutorial video that will be available next week. All right then, here we go. All right. And starting off with some cross tailwind here on hole number one. So I'm going to go with the quarterback. Obviously, if you do have the rock or a quarterback 10, go with that. Something that gives you a little bit more top spin. I've got QB9 here, so I'm playing with 3.9 bars of top spin, which is max. And then one bar of right spin. A little bit more top spin, like I say, is useful, though, if you do have it. Max plus 10 is the adjust. And unless you're really playing with a load of tailwind, then I'm just going to lay up really. There is a blast option here, but of course you do risk uh, the rough here. So this one is a layup. We do hit a minor great ball, but with the accuracy of the quarterback, or indeed the rock, it's going to be fine. Obviously, if we do have headwind, then the extra mile or something with more distance will be needed. Otherwise, you will, of course, be adjusting and going have to go with max overpower with the quarterback. So anywhere around there, maybe a bit further if we can, is fine. Second shot, I judge club distance as best as can. So I find minimum line and then maximum uh, line with my club. Then work out where I'm going to land and estimate whereabouts I am in terms of min and max. Here I work this out to be around medium distance. So I'm applying spin, getting the ball guide just to the front of the cup because we do have a little bit of tailwind. Mistake I make here is uh, this one is slightly over adjusted. So I'm playing this mid minus 10. This shot, even though it looks downhill, actually plays with an uphill elevation. And I didn't have a great pull angle. So we do uh, hit the rough a little bit to the right and a bit high, but still a very, very good first look at this one. So that was minus 10, medium distance. Hole number two, we're gonna show you two shots here. The first one is with direct headwind. So. I'm going to bounce before the rough. A couple of bars top spin, and I am playing with three bars side spin to the right. As you can see, moving there, there is a little fringe glitch here that you can see with the ball guide when I was moving backwards and forwards, and that is a danger here that you will sometimes catch a glitch roll on the fringe. This hole is a little bit tricky, by no means the most difficult of the par threes, but it still does have some challenging moments. This one I'm playing medium distance, 10% elevation, so it's equivalent to one on one. And as with pretty much all shots on this hole, we are going to have to go with some right curl as well. And of course, that does make the par three a little bit trickier when you have to use curl. Um, we are coming in with a lovely speed here, just need a little bit of adjustment on the curl on that one. We do have uh, any element of tailwind, I'm going to bounce directly beyond the rough as shown here. And we can play with backspin, which will obviously just be able to control the shot a bit better. We do need a power two ball, though. So I'm at max distance with the power two ball, playing there with a good amount of backspin and some side spin to the right. The adjustment here, I play maximum distance, 10% elevation. So max plus 10. And then we are going to take our shot here. Not using any curl with this one, I'm just letting the wind do the trick and the right spin that I have on the ball as well. And this is all about trying to find a decent spot to bounce. Again, anything uh, this close, I'm very pleased with just to have a look in practice. Spend a few tokens, get yourself dialed in for the tournament. Hole number three, APOC is a really good advantage on some of these holes. Uh, so obviously a lot of ex expert players will have the APOC. Maybe not all pro players though, so you're just going to have to do what you can with your club level. Going with three bars side spin to the left, as well as uh, the top spin that you could see there. And then I'm adjusting max plus 10, and I am going to push back up to max, and that's because I do want some distance here as well. Going with full curl to the left with the APOC level 4, 
and I've got room for a little bit of overpower as well. So that's what I do add on. Perfect ball, you can see we were still quite far away from the end of the fairway, but the problem here with not having full curl available, we don't want to go too long, and it's very, very easy to roll too long into the rough, so do be mindful of your top spin here. Second shot, either going to be max distance with the long iron or minimum distance sniper. With only a power two ball and the distance of my drive, I am in between clubs here, so I decide to push up a little bit from the um, long iron and go with the sniper instead. Putting spins on as needed to uh, aim and use the ball guide, get that nice and close to the pin. Minimum distance, 15% elevation is what I go with here because we do have some crosswind. Obviously, the elevation numbers are going to vary depending what you're dealing with and how you set up your shot in terms of the ball guide. Problem here, though, I had a little bit of accidental overpower on the shot and a little bit too hot in terms of where I was setting up. But very good line there, minimum distance, 15 Hole number four, we do have an eagle to show you here. And this wind is the optimum wind direction here. Anything um, headwind related does get tricky. Whatever wind you're dealing with, get clubs with backspin. So the Guardian for your wood club, the Saturn is good for the long iron and definitely pack the thorn. And for your rough iron, in case you don't make it out of the rough, then pack the machete. Six top spin, two right spin. If you have more top spin, go with it. Max plus 10 was the adjustment, pushing back up to max. In this wind strength, I do have room for a couple of rings of overpower, so I add that on, and then I go with my curl. And here we want to either do two bounces or a third bounce and try and roll out of the rough. Sometimes you will roll out, sometimes you won't, but for me, it is worth a go. Second shot, I'm thankfully in thorn range here, so I'm going to go for the max backspin draw shot. Um, working out my club distance as best I can and I'm estimating that I am between mid and max so here I'm going to be playing around 75% slider. Max backspin in the end I decide to put half a bar of side spin to the left so I can pass the pin on the right and then just use the spin to kick the ball back into the cup um, for a hopeful eagle. So I'm playing zero elevation 75% slider thereabouts which is going to give me 2.9 or 3 rings. I'm pulling over the bullseye, and then I'm hoping to hit perfect, which we do. The reason we want the machete on the rough iron here, in case we don't roll out, you will have backspin to control the second shot. There we go, though, dropped it very nicely for an eagle. OK, nasty wind on hole 5, and if you do get direct headwind on these, they aren't pleasant, and there's no two ways about it. So going with the APOC, plenty of top spin, three right spin. This course does tend to eat kingmakers, I'm afraid, so be prepared. Max plus 10 is the adjust. We need a good amount of overpower, so I'm playing almost, looks like, max overpower. And three quarters ball curl to the right. Do hit a great right here, but it's still going to be fine with the club accuracy that we do have. And we want to bounce over there and roll as far as we can. If you do have higher clubs or with more top spin, put the top spin on and try and gain as much distance as you can. Here, with the headwind, might have been better going with 180 yard wood club, but we are still in this wind strength going to reach with the sniper. So here I am using some top spin, offsetting the ball guide past the hole because of the headwind push that we're going to get, and also slightly to the right. The adjustment I make here, I actually go max plus 15 on this one, but we just over-adjusted this one slightly. Again, the elevation is going to vary depending on the wind direction and how you set up your shot. So just use your experience and judgment as best you can. Still, we get this one fairly close, uh, but we're securing the eagle, and in this wind direction, I'm very, very happy with that. Hole number six, this par three is an absolute nightmare, and the chances, to be quite honest, of a hole in one, very, very slim. For me, this is just a birdie hole, especially when it's a mini, just take the birdie and move on. No point wasting a load of practice tokens trying to get da uh, dialed in on a hole that plays so much downhill. Uh, two to three bars of backspin for the bounce over, two left spin. Adjustment here, max plus 45. In level crosswind, you can do a driver rough bump, and in headwind, you are going to have to bounce on the fairway to the bottom right of the green, 
with backspin with the driver that is in headwind but all of these shots play massively downhill 40 percent elevation is a must as a minimum okay hole seven two shots to show you here we do have a headwind one here and of course we love tailwind but sometimes you know you're going to get some headwind angles max plus 10 going with the top spin and three bars left spin always here and we're going to go max over power and max curl to the left 8.1 in wind so it could be stronger but it could be less as well here we are bouncing nicely we do clip the rough and roll out uh, but i didn't record the second shot but we were still in range and i played an end bringer school uh, there at about 100% slider 20% elevation and it dropped nicely so even in uh, headwind you do need to be getting an eagle on this hole here is a cross tailwind version here again going with top spin a little bit less because of the tailwind but still going with three bars side spin to the left red ring just away from the rough on the left and max plus 10 is the adjustment here i push up a little bit on this one and again going with plenty of curl to the left minor great ball to the right and you will see we are lucky with this one we do clip the rough but we do get a very lucky roll out perfect ball of course won't be endangering the rough and we're leaving a very very nice eagle wedge on that one that is a must eagle now this par three again very difficult to get a hole in one tailwind and crosswind i like the nmt the no movement shot here so i'm playing with full backspin and also some side spin to the left this one is very wind angle dependent if you are going to spend a couple of tokens this would be a very good hole you will see a lot of people get the speed or the adjustment wrong or the offset and then end up in the rough or the sand and then you're fighting uh, to try and save one for uh, a birdie and you will see a lot of people get par here max plus 20 is the adjustment on this one and then all we need to do really because this green is uh, sloped like a turtle shell you've got that ridge down the center if you are off and you have too much pace you will easily roll into the rough so for that i'm fine uh, here obviously we could have uh, gone a little bit less on the backspin but the line was very good with our max plus 20. finally on to hole nine we are going to go with top spin and right spin here. Once again, the apocalypse is nice here. Although you don't need a lot of curls. So extra mile, Thor's hammer, also good alternatives. Max plus 10 is the adjust. Then we do adjust into overpower with this nasty wind angle. So we are applying the overpower plus a little bit more. Half a ball of curl to the right. Perfect to wait. Make sure we clear the rough. Very easy to over curl this one. And you'll see there the margins are quite tight but we do get a very nice drive down onto the fairway here on the left hand side 355 yards second shot unless you know you're going to have tailwind play with the wood club with distance i'm going with five top spin here and i'm just going to aim here almost at max giving myself a bit of room to adjust adjustment here is max plus zero and then we're going into overpower even with this wind so a little bit of overpower and one ball of curl to the right we do hit a minor great left here so we are obviously going to approach the pin from the left but we're still going to be fine and we are securing the eagle obviously a perfect ball would have got us nicely onto the fringe or even the green but in this wind angle i'm happy with an eagle Thank you for watching this playthrough video for the Supernova 9 Hole Cup. Don't forget to check out bkgolfclash.com for more content and also join us on Facebook. Search for the BK Golf Clash Facebook group. Loads of active members there sharing shots and a lot of excellent uh, content and guide makers posting free guides as well. So do join us over there. See you soon. Bye for now.